Welcome back to the update. We are happy to introduce you to, if you do not know him already, Dave Beechnaw from the Detroit Sports Commission. Thank you so much for popping in. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You do a great job in terms of helping this region get big time sporting events. But tell us a little bit more about what your mission is. Well, our mission, quite simply, is to attract sporting events to the region for the economic benefit that they provide. We represent the entire region, the hospitality partners with the hotels, the restaurants, and the attractions. So, through sports, our mission is to drive visitors to the region that spend money in our community, uh, have a great time, and hopefully we'll come back again in the future. There have been a lot of big events from the Super Bowl to the All-Star Game, the Ryder Cup. We've seen many, many big-time events come to our region. There's a lot of competition for that. So what are you going up against in terms of other cities who have similar commissions formed? There is a lot of competition. As a matter of fact, it's grown since 2001, since we were formed. There are over 100 sports commissions around the country. In addition to that, there's three or 400 convention and visitors bureaus who have a concentrated effort in attracting sports events to the region so you know the competition is fierce you had to have to continue to keep your, your leg up uh, be competitive put your best foot forward and the assets that we have in the region uh, with the facilities uh, the community supports the events that we host here in Detroit and that's all important when we're attracting those events for Detroit I would guess most fans watching this right now are like what are we in the mix for what's Detroit fighting for right now well, there's a few NCAA championships that just came out for bid recently. Uh, there's a possibility we'll have a, a men's regional championship here again in the near future. We expect to be in um, the mix for another Final Four, and that's what we do day to day is we're out chasing sporting events, and that's, again, our mission. And again, if you're paying attention to what's going on with the BCS and the new playoff structure, which they're discussing, it appears as though the national championship game will be a process that's bid out, and Detroit could conceivably be in that mix, couldn't it? Absolutely. With the success of the events that you just mentioned, there is no reason why Detroit can't be in the mix and should be in the mix and will be in the mix uh, moving forward once they announce the process. And, and with the Super Bowl and, and Final Fours and everything you just talked about, Detroit is, is an ideal location for a national championship. Now, I know you had a fun event a couple weeks ago where you introduced a mascot. Does this mascot travel with you? He does. Holy, look at this. Who is, is this guy? This is Champ, and Champ arrived uh, here in Detroit about six weeks ago, and he was actually nameless. And so we uh, rolled out a contest to name this mascot to the general public. So we took email uh, suggestions for names. We actually received 75 unique names for this guy right here. We narrowed it down to five, and we did an online poll, and we let the public decide. And uh, as true it as it should be with our tagline where champions are made and championships are played, champ won out. And here he is with us tonight. That is very cool. I didn't know we had a trap door down there. Apparently that was just installed today. Tell people about D Sports Nation. What's that all about? Yeah, D Sports Nation is another program which piggybacks off of champ because we're out trying to build awareness in the community of who we are, what we do, and why we do it. And so D Sports Nation is a program where we can cast our net out further to garner support. Um, it's a program where for a small donation, people can join. They'll receive benefits like advance opportunities on pre-sale tickets for certain uh, sporting events that are held in Detroit, um, opportunities for volunteering at some of the events that we host, networking opportunities. Just two weeks ago, we hosted a, a pre-game reception at Comerica Park before a Tiger game and had a meet and greet with Dave Rosema. And it's an opportunity for people who want to help further our mission, be involved in what we're doing, and, and get the benefits from doing that. Well, that's cool. You serve a lot of people in this region with some great work, so I really appreciate you hey, stopping by you. tonight. You appreciate too, my it. man. Thanks a lot, Champ. Nice to meet you. Be careful on the way back down there. That's Dave Beechnaw from the Detroit Sports Commission. The update may get kookier when we get back, so don't go away. Good job, buddy. <laughs>